I got three stocks and they're all diversified. I got one for trash, one for food, and one for renewable energy. So you can diversify your portfolio, you can invest and make money, and you can feel good for owning these good companies. Let's take a look. Welcome to the newsroom. Today, I'm talking about stocks that make you feel good. Typically, someone's gonna buy a stock because they just wanna make money. So, why not make money and feel good while you're making it? So the first stock is Covanta Holding, ticker CVA. Currently trading at $8.20. The chart is looking very good. It's at a bottom and it's a good company. Let's talk about what the company does. So Covanta Holding Corporation is a public company headquarters in Morristown, New Jersey. It provides energy from waste and industrial waste management services. Most of its revenue comes from operating power plants that burn trash as fuel. So for example, in layman's terms, you're on the couch, you're eating McDonald's, okay? You're having a milkshake, a burger and fries, watching TV. You take all that trash and you throw it out. Company comes around, they pick up all the trash and they turn that trash into energy so you can keep watching that TV and keep eating those burgers and milkshakes because it's power and the electricity. So on their website, Covanta reduced 21 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions, continuously powers 1 million homes, and recycles 550,000 tons of metal. So all this trash you're throwing out can be used to power your house, your toaster, your microwave. What companies are doing now, waste management companies, they're taking that trash and they're throwing it right into a landfill. Who knows what they're doing with it? They're just getting rid of it. Why not use it as energy? So they're burning it up and using that, that energy, turning it into electricity. So this company, if you wanna feel good, this is one to invest in because you are turning trash into energy. It's not being wasted. So when you see someone littering on the ground, that's about 60 seconds to toast your bagel. Pick that up, throw it in the bin, and now you can toast your bagel. You own this stock, you're gonna be an advocate for people to throw trash out in the bins. So all around 360 positive things. Look at their website, you got these beautiful trees. Here's their factories. The earth, nice and blue still. Look at this guy. He's an investor. He's throwing out the trash. All that trash, whenever you see trash now, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be upset about trash. You're gonna enjoy and love the, the view of trash. You're gonna see trash bags everywhere. You're gonna be happy. You're gonna be smiling. You're gonna be like, I'm investing in that trash, turning into powering your home. Your home. Every little piece of trash you see on the ground, that's a cell phone charge. Think of it that way. On Weeble, you can pick if you're bullish or bearish on a particular stock. Generally, it's about 70 to 60% more bullish than bearish I've seen, unless it's like a oddball stock that everyone hates, mostly bearish. This one, check this out, 100% bullish. People love it. Who's gonna hate on a company that turns trash and energy? No one. Also, they were just given an award, an award for efforts to advance the circular economy. I mean, uh, I don't need to promote it. You hear the words coming out of my mouth. It's all good. So I think we could all agree it's a feel good stock. Let's take a look at the chart and see how that looks. Right here, okay, currently trading at 816. Like I said, we have a critical and strong bottom right now. This thing was hit by Rona pretty hard. It was trading at 16, fell to seven, bounced to 10. Now it's back down to eight at a critical zone, but it's also a strong support. So institutions, retail, we need to keep this thing up because they're doing good in this world. Their first test is 865 from what I'm seeing and then a price target of 965. Now this is short term, maybe in a couple months. That's what I mean by short term. I don't mean tomorrow, Robin Hooders. Now, if this thing turns bearish, it would break 788. I would exit, get out, and maybe get back in in the low to mid sixes. That's Covanta, nice looking company. Now the next stock, this one is a food one. Okay, this is another feel good stock. If you don't like hurting animals, if you're a vegetarian, this one's perfect for you. If you just wanna have a better environment as well, Beyond Meat, BYND ticker. Now to be honest, before we get into this, I did taste a Beyond Meat sausage sandwich at Dunkin' Donuts. Take a look at a clip. I'm trying to get through this sandwich and the only thing that's making it tolerable is, is actually dunking it in like a cookie and milk. You dunk it, 
and the cardboard softens up. You know, when you pour a little water on paper, it gets mushy. It's open. This is the worst meal, $7 meal I ever had. It's gross. As you can see, it wasn't tasty. It was cardboardy, but they'll get better over time. And think about it. As you're eating that sandwich, just remember, you're saving a cow. That cow is alive now because you didn't eat a real sausage sandwich or a burger. BYND is the ticker, currently trading at $183. Very expensive, but it's a feel-good stock. You own one or two shares. You're saving a couple cows. Joey and Mark, they're mooing all around. They're moo, moo. They're putting up, they're able to paint more signs for Chick-fil-A because you bought some shares. The more shares you own of Beyond, the more cows you're saving. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, Tyson Foods, one of the biggest food packaging producing companies in the world is challenging Beyond Meat Impossible Foods with its on chicken sandwich. Could they not have come up with a better name? I'm not a fan of this name. Are you? So they're challenging these guys. They put their little unchicken sandwich out in these chains and they're like, let's see how many we can sell. They're going to sell more than Dunkin'. But Beyond is in many places in the supermarket. It's all over. And and I have one at, I think at Fuddruckers and that was good. Now look at this sandwich. That's delicious looking. You invest in Beyond, you're saving the animals. I, I would like to go vegetarian if I had the option, but meat tastes so good. But don't think that way. All right, you're saving animals. When I was living in Vietnam, I was eating pho. Turns out, it wasn't pho. It was dog pho. Because there was dog meat in it. And I didn't know. Listen, I don't like hurting animals. But I ate it. It was gamey. I was like, what is this? It's very chewy. And the guy just looked at me and squinted. And I looked to my right. I see a little poodle spinning on a spit just roasting over there. And I looked back at the guy and he just went, so I immediately got up and I left. I felt gross because I'm eating poodle in my pho. No good. But this sandwich, looking at this sandwich, this is the unchicken sandwich. They, they do the special breading now. That looks delicious. I'll eat the unchicken if it means less animals are harmed and murdered for people to eat food. Fuel. Chickens. Also, chickens, it's brutal the way they kill these things. They take the neck and they just... Like a helicopter. They do this little helicopter motion and the chicken just... Just claps his neck all up. But we're moving into the future. And now we found ways to make these sandwiches just as succulent as real meat. And if they can mimic it exactly, why wouldn't we switch? So looking at the chart for Beyond, remember, this is a feel good. So we're investing in Beyond because we don't want to kill the animals. The food's good enough at this point, and it's only going to get better. Then we can make the transition. So if we want to feel good about not killing animals and eat fake meat. Here we go. Immediately, because I'm a cousin of Neo and I see Matrix coding, we have inverted head and shoulders, which is this, bing, bing, bing. So we got three little swoopy swoops. The middle is the head, the two outers are the shoulders. Now, what's this? At the end of my shoulder, it's a long arm. That's what this little bing green arrow is. It's the long arm, that's the 50% rally. Anytime you see an inverted head and shoulders, 99.99% .99 of the time, you're getting that rally afterwards. Now, question is, what's gonna happen now? Because that rally may be done. Based on what I'm looking at here, I'm projecting a pullback down to 160. Maybe that's a little too far down, but that's my guess right now. And then it's gonna project higher. So maybe wait for a pullback. And the reason why I'm saying 160 is because of the previous patterns. Bing, here we go. Up, down, up, down, up. And now I think it's gonna go down, buy in, go back up. So that's it for Beyond Meat. The next stock is FSLR ticker. First Solar currently trading at 8501. First Solar is an energy solutions company. Renewable energy. We all know what solar panels is. I don't need to go too deep into this, but they do solar panel. They're the biggest in the country. Until Tesla creeps up and takes over because they got the nice roofs with their solar panels. I mean, it's pretty clear that solar panels, it's free energy. The sun is constantly beaming down energy for us. We just need to find a way to capture it, and we did. We made little solar panels on the roof. Now you can power your whole house. You can charge your car. You can do all these fancy things. This is another feel-good stock, First Solar. No one dislikes First Solar. No one is intentionally going out to short First Solar because they don't like it. They're shorting it because maybe it's overbought, and they want to get in on the dip. Also, 
in a few days. First Solar to announce third quarter 2020 financial results on October 27th. So that's coming up very soon. Keep an eye out for that, whether you want to trade it before earnings or after earnings. GM has partnered with First Solar to supply solar energy to three of its factories in the Midwest. They're doing partnerships. They're only going to continue to grow and be bigger as we dive more into the future of renewable energies and being better for the environment. So when I wake up in the morning, I look at my portfolio. If I'm ever deep in the red, at least I own some stocks that make me feel good. So I'm okay with being down 300% because listen, these stocks are changing the world for the better. I'm feeling warm and fuzzy because I'm feeling good. Looking at first solar chart, as you can see, this thing has been grinding up pretty heavy since March. I was at 32 this year as well. It was at 32 many years ago, but fell to 32. I could have got back in. That was during the Rona season. But as you can see, pre-Rona, it was around 56. Post-Rona, way up, 84. After I recovered from that, the Rona crash blew right past it, made higher highs. Look at this indicator. It broke resistance. Resistance was at 81.85, blew through it. Bird's eye view, that's the first time it broke through that resistance since 2011. So that's a huge move. So this might be a great time to get in because it never made this move prior. 163 price target because back in 2009, that's where it had all of its resistance. Couldn't get past 163, 160. So that's my price target. That's a 2x return. If we're going to be fair, I'm going to give a bearish scenario, even though I feel like this stock doesn't have a bearish scenario. If it breaks back through that crazy resistance, it finally broke through after 10 years, it could fall back into the high 60s. That would be a phenomenal entry. I would, I would buy many shares. All great companies, diversified, you're hitting all sectors. And remember, you could tell people about these. They, they think, some people think stock traders are greedy. They only like money. But hey, you could be like, listen, no, I don't like money. Okay, you see that little, that trash can over there? That's actually powering your microwave. They're going to look at you like you're crazy, but when you explain it, they're going to want to sign up on your Webull link. Speaking of that, it's in the description. Click that if you want to be a part of the Webull community and do these weekly paper trading competitions that I participate in all the time. Here's an example. I'm doing pretty good on this one. You sign up, I think you get two free stocks valued up to $1,600. It's a phenomenal platform. It's pretty much everything you need all bundled into one app. It's phenomenal. Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget, by watching this channel, you're feeling good. And you're getting a little bit closer to retiring young.